this will be part three of Skyward Sword HD. For anybody that will be watching it on um, YouTube, we'll be continuing our save file that we have here. And we were just getting ready to go into a dungeon last time. So, this will be exciting. First off, we're going to get this. Send that to the sky. With a skyward strike. This game is really well done. Oh yeah, the Harry Potter games are great. I think the worst ones of the bunch are the PS1 ones, unfortunately, if you are looking to them, but, but they're not bad, I mean, they're not bad games, it, it's just that they're comparing with other games that are just really great. But if you have a PC as well, I highly recommend PC as well. Because the PC ones are my favorite, one to three on there. What is this saying? Yeah, I already know about this though. <laughs> well, head, let's let's head into the dungeon now. There we go. Well, this is our very first dungeon on stream. Exciting. Dungeons in this game can be a little lengthy, but but that's fine. No, 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 no. I'll tell you in a moment. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout the temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. You will not be able to track her here. Given the situation, I suggest you look around and see where we should move next. Um, that's not quite true. Um, Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, so it was interesting. Sorcerer's Stone originally came out on PS1 and PC, you were right. But then all of a sudden, like, down the road they decided after, like, I think after they released the Chamber of Secrets to release a version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on GameCube and PS2 and Xbox. But it was after, it was after Chamber of Secrets came out. I actually streamed it. It's a, a playthrough that is as well on my YouTube channel. Sorcerer's Stone. It's good. It's a good game. I also went through Chamber of Secrets as well on stream. Yeah, I was very surprised that they um, that they did it. I remember getting it for Christmas years ago. Yeah, I remember getting it for Christmas years ago now. Early on when I got the GameCube, actually. Oh, yeah. Well, the PS... The PS1... I will put it this way. If you play the PS1 version and then you play the uh, GameCube version, you will definitely tell quickly that they are not the same game at all. They actually play so different from each other that you would never even know that they were the same game. Yeah, you would never know it. We are starting to have a few drop frames. I'm keeping an eye on it just in case. That is concerning. Yeah, 
That's true. Well, if you get a chance to get them both, I recommend both. But, yeah. Either way. I will say the PS1 version is not... By far, it's the worst version of all of the Sorcerer's Stones. Same with Chamber of Secrets. It is definitely the worst one. Unfortunately. I hate to say it, but... Like, I like them still. They're good games, but... I'd be lying if I didn't say, like, the GameCube version by far is better. I played through Source of Stone on all of the, well, all the versions. I have not finished Chamber of Secrets, but I did play a little bit of it. I still want to go back to it. One day I may stream the PS1 ones. But, yeah, if it's the only option, I, uh, yeah. No, they have it. They have it all the way through Deathly Hallows. As well, but. Order of Phoenix was the last exploring mansion style game. Or, or I mean, Hogwarts. Well, actually, I can't say that. That's not true either. That's not true. Half Blood Prince had uh, where you still went around the castle. It was not quite at, like like um, it was not quite like Order of the Phoenix, but but it, it was good still. Um, Deathly Hallows was not so good. Deathly Hallows was where the series went down the tubes, in my opinion. Like I do plan on maybe one day streaming those though still, but. Death Hallows Part 1 and 2 were where they turned the series into a shooter instead of uh, an exploring exploration game. It basically became nothing more than a shooter. Well, the LEGO games actually were really great, but the Kinect game was sucked. Yeah, I agree, but in general, in my opinion, Kinect sucked in general. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't really like Kinect. Yeah, I know. I never liked to connect. I thought that it was um, it was just it was tr it was trying to rip off the um, the Wii, and the Wii had set some really great things. I rather the PlayStation Move honestly than the Connect, even though the Move was not all that good. I will say that it was better than the Connect still. Wii. Don't forget it's also on Wii. Yeah, I didn't get it on those. I got it part one. I, I got, oh, I have Order of the Phoenix. Three copies of Order of the Phoenix because I have it on PS2, PC, and 
uh, we, and then I have half or Deathly or um, Half Blood Prince on the Wii, and I have Deathly Hallows Part One on the Wii, and then I have Deathly Hallows Part Two on just the PC. They're all the same, pretty much the same versions of the game, except for the Wii has motion controls, obviously. That'd be the only difference, but it's still the same, very much the same game. Java phone, I've never even heard of that one. <laughs> to me personally, the best Harry Potter game by far was Prisoner of Azkaban on the PC. That was mine, even though I know the fan favorite is Chamber Seekers on the PC, but mine would have to be uh, Prisoner of Azkaban on there. It's his own game. You understand? Back then, EA was making it was a phenomenal developer. They were by far better than what they are now. They went to crap since then. But um, back then, they made a purpose for getting every Harry Potter game on every system because every single one was light levels different than the last. Not a single one was the same at all. Like, they had some premises that were maybe the same, but they played completely different. They had very different look. They had diff very different everything. Like, everything was different. Even some of them had different spells than other games. In different ways you would get the spells. Like, like everything was different. Like, the PC version is very much its own game. That's why I love the... That's why I love the PC version so much more. Is because they were very much their own. They shared no resemblance to the council games at all. Now, don't get me wrong, the the council games are really good for what their own purposes too. But even the PS1 game is different than the um, GameCube. You do realize the GameCube and PS2 is very different than um, PS1 version. Oh yeah, yeah. EA back then was really good. They even uh, did they do Lord of the Rings? They did Lord of the Rings. That's another one that's really good, or used to be really good. Yeah, I'm telling you, they were really good back then. I don't know what happened, but they went down the tube since. But in your room with two glittering gemstones, you shall find a temple map. Gaze upon that map until your eyes find that. Yeah, you must strike another gem to reveal back. Interesting. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Plus enough. I'll see you uh, shortly.
see what's in here. I think the dungeon map may be in here. Let's see. We don't have a key yet, though. Yep, okay. Looks good. So it seems there is still a chest in here somewhere. I'm not seeing a chest anywhere, which is weird. I'm not gonna lie, that is weird. No idea how to get that chest, but okay. I will be back in a moment. So I just gotta go make a phone call. So I'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. Nope, oh, I'm gonna continue onwards now. Okay. I tried to make a phone call, but the person I was calling didn't answer. Oh, whoops. That could have been bad, but luckily it was not. Okay. So, we got everything back. Okay, we're good to go. Yeah, that is exactly the reason right there to why I put the wrist straps on. Almost dropped the controller, let alone. Yeah. I can only imagine. I just can picture bad things happening. So. So, it's just better off overall. We're on our way. We're almost to my favorite item in the game, which I'm not going to spoil what it is. I'll just mention that it is my favorite in the game. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I missed this many. I'm gonna have to go get more Deco Nuts. Yeah, more of these. Yeah, good, at least we killed it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, yeah. There we go. More like it. Got him. Visually, this game is just stunning. It's just beautiful. Got the key. I'm so glad this is on the Switch. So glad. Yeah, to me, if any Zelda game deserved to get remake, it was by far this one. Right now. Like, I love Twilight Princess, but it, it got on the Wii U. It can take their time, and I'm sure eventually it will come. So I'm not too worried about it, but I'm very excited that Skyward Sword came. And hopefully it'll continue to get the recognition it deserves. Yeah, I won't be able to go through where I need to get to without more deco notes. Yeah, it's going to be a little tough, so I better head back and just get some. further into the dungeon. Close to my favorite uh, dungeon item in, in the game. I do like that you can put the slingshot at least away. That is nice. Man, 
Yeah, I should have looked right here. There was more here. Even. Didn't even see that earlier. That's a little bit of a difference maker. Got it. Okay, in we go. To the suspicious door. Yeah. Okay. Time for a mid boss. That was it. <laughs> that was so easy. <laughs> yeah, the motion controls are way better on the Switch version now. That I'm gonna say. Like, I don't get me wrong. I love the Wii version as well. And I have mad respect for it. But the Switch version, its motion controls are a masterpiece. Hey, I got the Beetle, and this is by far my favorite item in the game. There's just something I love about this item. And people are complaining about how it controls, and it ain't that bad. You have acquired a new item analysis of this object insect like profile and wings and it can take a fly. After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. The sharp structure on the front of this of the device can sever threads and deliver a blow to small objects. Press ZR to ready the yep, we already know. Yep, here we go. Got him down, turn it, and then slam it right into there. There we go. Open my door. So I can get out. I hear the spider running around out there already.
Got you as well. And a heart piece. There we go. Landed right in between them. Welcome back, Plushendo. Hope your night's going well. We're getting a red ruby right now. Probably about to fill up my wallet. I'm gonna have to go buy the uh, bigger wallet here soon. Oh hey! Thanks so much for the host, Plush Tendo. If only I could get now, get a PS5 somehow, so I could actually because I'd probably restream Final Fantasy VII Remake if I could get a PS5, so that way I can go through the Yuffie DLC as well. But I still have not seen any spoilers, luckily. But sadly, I'm not been able to play it because I don't have one. I may have played the new Ratch and Clank. So many great games I'm not been able to play because of it. It's not that I don't think I, I think I could afford one. It's just that um, I can't even buy them because of the way Sony has done things.
I'm not very happy with Sony. That's why we offered it recently. Due to, due to the way that they've been managing the PS5, I'm not very happy with it. Because I could have one up at this point, but... And I know my dad really wants to see it as well. We really want to get one. It's just that it just um, has been so complicated. <laughs> it is by far the hardest console I have ever tried to buy my entire life. I am so glad that I, I waited in line as long as I did and got my Switch when I did. So I didn't have to deal with the commodity like this. I'm glad there wasn't this kind of camaraderie with it, too. It just shows me how much better Nintendo handled it than Sony. I, I give them credit, I mean, because the Switch was selling so well when it first came out, and yet there wasn't such an issue getting it. No, 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 get the heck off of me. Get off of me, get off of me. Haha, <laughs> holy moly. Please tell me there isn't another one. We need a couple hearts back here soon. Well, we got our key. That was ideal. Now I can take the key over here. Let's kill these darn, uh... Let's kill these things. Three and one go. Hey, I'll take it. Come on. Okay, what the heck is going on? I know I'm tilting it. There we go. Better. There. Oh, God. <laughs> this part could be a little rough. Well, we'll see. Maybe it won't be too bad. But yeah, I do remember this part. It could be a little rough. Oh, hey, a heart. Yeah, Hydras. Hydras are a little annoying. That was way easier. Way easier than I was expecting that to be. But I think it's because of motion controls. Motion controls just control very well. They do. They, they're very responsive on here. And, um, yeah, it's just, I, my experience, I will say this. The button controls are not bad. They take time to get used to. But, overall, I would say motion controls all the way if you're not, if you have the option. They just control way better. Plus you can just recenter it whenever you're having issues by hitting the Y button, which is not too bad. Seriously, it's not that bad. Shortcut. Okay. So you could technically knock these down. Which I could do right now. Or I could have done it in a moment, but.
I can prepare them now actually so I'll just do that yeah I, I agree though Pudgeon. I really would love to get a PS5 I plan on getting one because of the new Harry Potter game I really want to put the new Harry Potter game on there that's coming out Oh hey, thanks so much for Lurk, Gur Ninja. Not that hard. Come on. There we go. We're close. Come on. Yeah, there we go, Link. Open that up. I think this is going to be a red ruby. Yeah. Had a feel. I had a feeling about that, that that was going to be a red ruby. Okay. Let's go save our game. Now, before we can get in that door, we need to go get the, the boss key. To go fight the boss. Yeah, this part can be a little annoying. It's a hard jump to make. And more than likely, I'm going to miss it because it's hard to get a camera angle. This is by far one of the worst jumps in the game. Luckily, you don't take damage from falling, but, but it is rough. carving. So cool, we got the boss key now. Now we can go fight a boss. The first boss in the game. Yep. Going way better this time. Yep, there we go. Good idea to save my game here. Yep, there we go. Got it. The only Zelda game in the whole series that makes you have to line it up and makes the key actually become like a puzzle to open up the door. I think that's phenomenal. Love that mechanic. Should have done that. They should do that in more Zelda games in the future. And here we go. And there we go. Our first encounter with him. We saw him briefly earlier, I think. <laughs> Look who it is. 
I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart, yet here you are, not in pieces. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just that a girl that matters now, and I can sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface, you may call me Girahim. There's his name. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. Oh boy. And now, get ready. This is actually can be quite a hard fight for the first fight in the game, boss fight in the game. So this one is definitely tricky, I will say. Did you really just draw your sword for boy? The uh, encounters with gear him are not easy always. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious, outraged, sick with anger. This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all of my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Oh boy. Well, hopefully we're ready. That's the best way to do it, right there. He is tough to judge. There we go. That's what you want to do. You want to just trick him. Yeah, that was not tricking him. Where'd he go? Yeah, that's the problem. If I hold my sword to the right, I could trick him. Oh, he almost stole my sword, and he can do that. Oh boy, that was close. So close. Oh my gosh, he almost took it. Ha! Ah. He didn't like that one bit, I can tell. That upset him, I can tell.
hard to hit. He's hard. He's a real pain in the ass in that phrase. Okay, now we gotta time it. this. This is the part that's gonna, it's gonna get really hard. No. Shit. <laughs> Shit. That's the worst thing that could happen. Damn it. He just took damage to my shield. Exactly what we wanted. Now we need perfection. Okay, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. That's as bad as it gets. That's as bad as it gets. Oh shit! He's running. He's running. If that would have hit me, I would have screwed my shield and broken. God, because you only get three hits with your shield, which sucks. This makes this fight so hard. Oh, I was so damn lucky there. is a pain in the ass because it lasts forever so I need like perfection at this point oh sh well good thing I wasn't blocking or I've been screwed at this point hate him so much fear him such a pain in the ass
He is horrible. <laughs> he is so bad. It does do damage from that. Well, you put a much more of a fight than I thought I would. Yeah, but don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sort of yours is the only reason you're still alive. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. Whew. Yeah, no, gear him is tough. Always is a tough fight. For our first boss fight in the game, that is so much harder than you would expect. I, I, I knew it was going to be tough. It always is. Oh, well, we'll definitely take the heart container, though. Well worth it. Yeah, we'll take my increase in health. And we just finished the first dungeon overall. Exciting. Let's go claim our reward. Got it. First bug caught. Wow. Yeah, I plan. I do plan trying to get as many of them, if not all of them. But yeah. And now we have to go do a scoured strike. Gosh, the graphics are just gorgeous on the remake. It's one of these games where you just kind of got to play it yourself if you want to like, see the difference because it's going to be very hard to see the difference from um, from like straight up watching it. But if you played it, like it's running unbelievably. Like it just looks absolutely gorgeous in 1080p with 60 frames per second. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. And even the text is, is quicker. From the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the uh, Earth Spring. Uh, this second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, uh, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted her, has set out for this second sacred place. The ruby tablet. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel is only used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take this the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue to search for Zelda. 
Let's return to the sky once more before continuing our search. The bird statue outside can take us back up. Okay. Hey, it's me! Quee! Did you find the girl? Not yet. Oh, that's too bad, but it sounds like you at least know where you need to search next to find her. Quee! That's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kiwi friends. It's all thanks to you, Queep! With any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for real soon. Kuroku, take care, okay? <laughs> the Kikwis are awesome. They're just awesome. Save our game. And let's head to the sky. Here we go. Oh, let's head and put this tablet in. But first we're going to go do a couple things. We're going to collect a couple things from uh, the Skyward Strike things we did. Uh, we'll go take a look at what we can do now. That's right uh, when you uh, able to detect the resulting energy. Yep, we can go do that now. The Skyward Strike things. The location I marked on your map indicates the spot where I sense an energy reaction. I mean, we have multiple, but yeah, we will. Actually, we'll do that one last. Yeah, I'm aware. I want to go to that location first. Here we go. The music's so good in the sky. Oh my gosh. What's in here? Heart piece. Nice, we got another piece of heart. Let's see how many more we need. Oh no, we got a whole nother heart. None. Exactly none. Okay, so there's none up here yet, but we do have this one at the punk the pumpkin landing. Okay, cool. We have the one behind, I think it's behind the building at the bunk and landing. <laughs> By the way, it is officially my birthday. So, it's pretty exciting. I turned 25 today. Pretty excited. Perfect. And exactly what I was hoping to see. Nice. My venture pouch is bigger. That's nice. I can go buy that at a wall because we maxed out our 300 rubies so we can go do that. And, but first I think I'm going to go see, check and see if he has another quest for me. That's fine, but we can go buy that um that bigger wallet. That we can do. We gotta go to Skyloft anyway, so Yep. 
to go put that second tablet in in order to open up the area to the Elden Volcano. Drop it down. Yep, there you are. Okay, let's let me on it. I'm all on. Here we go. Take me on to it. Yep. I'll take the extra wall. Yep. That'll raise me to 600 at least. expensive unfortunately I wouldn't mind getting them but they are expensive oh that's right but I think I have like 200 rubies I should be able to afford a shield and get the upgrade of shield Okay, that's doable. I can live with 100 rubies. And that's all I should spend now. Because I think I'm good, yeah. Time to go put the ruby tablet in place. Open up Bell then Volcano. Alright, I'm out of stamina. I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete or complete necessary preparations. Yeah, I think we're all prepared for it at this point. Kukiel, where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukiel, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, a dog. 
What perfect timing. You haven't seen my kukul, have you? No. I I see. Please, Ada, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster. She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukio, please. Please, it, bring, it breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, I doubt you got it. Thank you. The Knight Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please find my daughter quickly. How's it going? Any luck track? Not Zelda? I see. Well, we're all pretty pulling for you. By the way, I saw Kukil's mother heading up toward this temple a little while ago. She looked pretty upset. You know, suppose something happened to you. How huh, Kukil's gone missing? We've got to do something. I'll start looking to ask around and see if you can find somebody who's seen her, you know? to beat us without me. That's so unfair. Kukio. Well, I did see her playing over by the graveyard yesterday. My mom called me home, so I left. I don't know what she did after that. Why did... Did something happen? That is quite interesting, the graveyard. You hear a child who's been playing in the graveyard went missing? Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? I don't know. Nothing crazy, does it? A child just vanished from our little village. here. I don't remember this house at all. <laughs> Interesting that there's a house back here. Well, I'll probably be in a bit getting ready to go to bed because it's getting a little later and I gotta be up a little bit earlier tomorrow. Here's the graveyard.
worry about that a little bit later. I probably won't be able to finish that or do anything with that until later. We're heading in. The Elder Volcano. Master, this is Elder Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the Earth. Elden Volcano. Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and direct flame. Please exercise caution with flammable materials such as wood and paper. In the event you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. There's the new location. Our map. Here we are. Okay, let's go save the game. There we go. One of the Skyward Cubes. Yep. We'll get that later. But that's good. Got ya. I got a volcanic ladybug. There we go. I can't do anything there yet. At least I caught the volcanic ladybug. That was worth it. new characters. Lead. Hey, hey, hey. You, you mess with our turf and you're gonna pay. Whoa, you're not. Yo, Lead. I don't think the, this is one of those red creeps. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off of us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge. They show up here, and I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm gonna. I'm doing here. Yeah, me, lad. Yeah, whatever, Mister. Too scared to dig in the dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those right guys. Got them.
Monster Claw, nice. Probably be an enemy there. You gotta be kidding me. Now they're gone, so we're just screwed on getting them. Before you can get away, yo. <laughs> Almost got away on me. Oh man. Some of these bugs are gonna be tough to catch, but at least we got one. Oh hey, I got us cube. Let's do a skyward strike on it. Got us cube to the sky. beneficial later at least.
So you could go that way and not go up here, but I'm gonna go up here because I wanna see what was up here. There was something good I think up here. That's worth coming up here that I missed. Yeah, so you have a whole piece of heart that I missed. I'll have to make sure to get that <laughs> now, now that I know about that. That is not possible to get to there yet, but at least I can head down here, head over here, fly up here. Okay, now this is where we need to pay attention. We want to get what we want out of this. We better pay attention. Got nothing. I'd rather take damage than. <laughs> Some bullshit, okay. Yeah, whatever. We go up to the top. And we try that again because that was that was pathetic. <laughs> that was absolutely pathetic. Yeah, let's try that again. Oh, we got one. <laughs> what is it? A new item, yeah, Eleanor. Okay. Nice. Now, getting the other one's gonna be really quite complicated. I couldn't even do that on handle control or button controls. And that even feels better than using the motion for. Dropping, I will say, is much harder than motion controls, but somehow I did that in one go. Don't ask me how, but somehow I did. But yeah, we're making excellent progress here tonight in Skyward Sword HD. I'm very satisfied with the progress. Grr, those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. Yow, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh, you're looking for your friend. Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so maybe they went up the mountain from the, over that way. That way. Ha, huh, wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. Well, I'm going to try my best to do that. Just that. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn you, asshole. Oh, you jackass. Oh, okay, 
they're just gonna keep calling these people in. Oh, gracious. Climb it and run. Kill this jerk. Get the heck out of here. He's a loose. About time. Oh, what a pain in the ass they were. Whoa, you took out every last one of them. <laughs> Damn right I did. Let's see what you have to say. You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us mongrels always honor our debts. Let me give you something to prove it. Any special requests? The love away forward. All right, you're trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. You're something pretty special if I say so myself. At the digging mitts, use these sharp claws to dig through patches of soft earth. Yep. With these, you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging in that hole below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those right guys. Here's hoping everything's okay. The other two don't lead you to it. This one does. I do remember that. So I got some more Elden Ore. Cool. But we got everything that was here, so... We did everything in here. That's good. Now we can head out of here. I don't think there was anything else here, but... In case I might take one more look just to see. I don't think, yeah, there's nothing here. It just drops you down here. Yeah, there, there is nothing. So we just need to go to the right path here. I thought that was it. Mm -hmm. We gotta go this way now. Okay, now this area we gotta watch out for. This area a little bit. Holy crap. He, oh, he scared me the first time. Dude. Well, you scared me silly. You can't just start digging right above my head, you know? But I get where you're coming from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig, so it's impossible to stop. Rubies are the most common treasure you'll dig up, but sometimes you might even score Elden Ore or some hearts. So if you run across a hole and you've got the time, dig, dig, dig. I do like fast dig is a thing. To me that is quite incredible because or no I'm fast my bad fast crawl. 
that is one nice thing. Really nice thing that was implemented. I don't believe I got this one. But I just noticed that and I was like, um, there was one other area where it was like a bombable looking wall. Better go to it. I know it was bombable. I'm trying to remember exactly where it was. But I remember seeing it. But yeah, definitely there was an area, a bombable wall without a doubt. back above. Here we go. That was definitely somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it was. That was definitely bombable. It might have been like when we first came in or it was yeah when we first fell down I could have said yeah I think it was a bombable area down below there when we first came in but we didn't have bombs so we couldn't do it yeah well we'll, we'll run into it eventually well now there's a green one one of your people just came charging through here dressed all in black that that in front of yours see that up ahead that's what we call a drop dead dead end but this character danced right over it seriously jumping over a gap like that my jaw hit the dirt A shortcut back. So that works out well. Yep. And so now we should be able to head over here. The goddess is chosen hero. I'm gonna go on a raid right at next save point, so we're calling it next save point. Zelda is ahead, hurry. Now, this is where we're gonna have to cut it off for the night, but we, just, we at least played Zelda for about two hours almost. So, not bad. I don't believe I can make it with the bomb all over there. Not possible. That's fine. At this point, we're gonna save and quit. Yeah, this is it. This is the last save point, so for the night. Yeah, I want to quit for the night. Yep. Well, thank you, everybody that came out tonight. It was a really good stream. But I'm off to bed. I gotta be up early like about 8.30 in the morning 
So, if anybody has enough channel points to recommend someone to raid, let me know. Otherwise, I'll find somebody and we can go raid that person. I'm just glad that luckily the stream worked out well. Like, after we had our issues earlier, we were able to at least continue to stream. So, that was good. And we got we made some good progress and Skyward Sword today. So, the goal be that tomorrow night we will stream again and potentially maybe we will continue some more Skyward Sword again. That's the hope. Yep. Let's see who is on currently. Yeah, then we can maybe go right. Let's see. Um, and now. Uh, I want to keep looking just to make sure. Anyway, there's an option. Yeah, we got a couple options. Oh yeah, we definitely have a couple options. I haven't rated him in forever. I haven't even seen him stream in a long time. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go raid someone I have not raided in a while. Good friend of mine, uh, Dongerzan. Yeah, we're gonna go raid Dongerzan. I'm gonna stop the recording right now.